So raise your hand if you've played an instrument before. Now keep your hand up if you stop playing that instrument. Okay, so just like you guys, I also stopped playing an instrument, right? My instrument was guitar. And to be honest, that was probably one of my biggest mistakes. I love to play that thing day and night. But I really couldn't because of school and sports. So that's why I did my project on learning to play chords on the guitar. I never actually was taught how to play chords, more or less just single plucking of the strings. So in order to teach myself how to play chords, I first started with learning how to retune the guitar. Because, you know, sitting in the corner for seven years really does damage to the strings. So uh, after learning to tune the uh, guitar, I decided that I would learn to uh, figure out finger positioning of the chords. Then I moved on to figuring out how to use a pick. So after all this, I decided, hmm, how can I really prove to myself that I actually know all this stuff? And well, I found out that playing a song would be a great idea. So uh, that was my goal at the end of the project. And I guess why I'm here today is to tell you about my personal experience with learning to play an instrument and to tell you the pros and cons of it. In regards to learning my topic, I technically didn't meet every goal. I learned to tune, I learned to play, uh, learned the fingering positions of chords, and the uh, how to use a pick. But I never actually got to play the song. And this is partially due to some of the challenges that I had faced during the project. Namely, school, again, sports, again. But I did actually encounter something that I had never faced before, and that was living alone by myself for about three weeks. Collectively, by the way, not like, you know, my parents aren't that bad. And then uh, 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 also preparing to move a house, right? So that was probably the worst part, too, because I actually had to move my guitar. And this was actually the last picture that I had and or I ever saw of my guitar. That's in my garage, by the way. So you can see all the boxes and stuff. But <laughs> that was probably one of the worst parts because I never saw my guitar again, and I still have yet to see it. So for the rest of the time, I actually asked my friend to use her guitar and practice with that. So it was a little unfamiliar, but I made do with it. Uh, and the, uh, some of the other challenges, right, such as like living my own, was pretty manageable, right? It's just, you know, added stress. And I think that, honestly, that took away from some of the magical discoveries that, you know, learning an instrument provides. So through the addition of guitar practicing in my daily schedule, I had to learn to manage my time correctly. And to do this, and to do this, I had to, uh, and to do this, I actually create a schedule. So I'd work on school for an hour, and then I'd take a 10-minute break to practice my guitar. Now, as I'm practicing, I usually found that my stress would spike right before I did it, but then as I practiced, I would forget everything and just focus on practicing. Now, this kind of created a sweet escape for me from all the stresses of schoolwork. Uh, however, when I actually started playing and I started making errors, my stress would spike again, and I'd start making more and more errors. So this actually taught me to stop you know, worrying, relax a little bit, take, th take things one at a time. And so this actually translated into my uh, school life. So uh, this translated into AP Bio, right? So can anyone guess what happened when I started implementing that uh, way of thinking? Now before you answer that, I would like to read you a quote from, let's see here, the National Educational Longitude Study of 1988. Real, real educational and very scientific. Now. <clears throat> high, school students, uh, high school music students have been shown to hold higher grade point averages than non-musicians in the same school. Well, I'll tell you, my grade almost rose an entire letter. So although I didn't actually meet my goal of playing uh, a song, uh, by the end of the project, the residual effects, such as a stress relief, benefited my non-project life, non life and goals greatly. Unfortunately, I can't really show you uh, in person, the work of my guitar skills, you know, I'm so good, obviously, for playing, you know, two months, but um, this is a recording of me practicing. Oh, uh, well, I guess not anymore. But I'll tell you, I'll send you the link ever. I'll, send, I'll post the link in a Facebook group if you want to hear it. Just message me, you know. Uh, but uh, as I mentioned before, I had faced a great many challenges, as all of us do. Uh, for my parents, uh, they threw me a curveball, though and put, me out, uh, put our house in the market. This meant that I practically was living out of boxes, and, well, things got lost, like my guitar. Uh, so I guess you could say things were pretty chaotic. But looking back at the project, it was pretty stressful, but by the end of it, I loved it. I, couldn't, I wish, you know, if I could go back and do it, I'd do it all over again. Uh, once I finally figured out the finger positions for chords, the rest came pretty naturally, right, such as the transitions. But for the ones that I couldn't really figure out, 
I'd use YouTube to actually help me figure out like easier tricks and ways. And uh, one of the things I actually used was uh, how to prevent my fingers from uh, uh, getting blisters, as that was, I found, one of the biggest problems. So this wonderful guy right here was my teacher. <laughs> Personally, I believe that the pros and the cons, uh, the pros far outweigh the cons, even given my undesirable situation. Although it increased my stress level, it inadvertently affected my academic life as well, beneficially, of course, through my study habits. <sighs> According to the effective music teaching, effective music teaching, learning to play an instrument can enhance coordination, teach discipline, and improve mathematical ability. These are not s skills solely applicable to the music industry, however, but are applicable to one's athletic, uh, social, and educational life as well. I found myself even outreaching to other people who play this instrument, such as Anna Dutra and Will Little, and they're actually encouraging me to continue practicing this even past this project. And actually, I think on Wednesday, Thursday, something like that, uh, we're going to be holding another practice group session, so that'll be fun. Um, but in conclusion, I want you guys to raise your hand if you've ever played an air instrument. Like air guitar, you know, obviously I play air guitar, I mean, come on. Okay, I think this is a lie because we've all done a little rock session here, okay? Pounding on the steering wheel drums. Thank you, Cole. Thank you for being us. Thank you, Bodine. Thank you. Okay, so un unfortunately, us air rock stars aren't necessarily concluded, or included in this statistic. Uh, in eight years, approximately 2.3 million people started playing uh, an instrument. F uh, to put that into perspective, that's approximately everyone in Houston, Texas, uh, playing an instrument. I don't know about you, but that's a lot of people following their passion. And I encourage you guys to do that as well. <laughs> as I mentioned before, learning an instrument can positively affect multiple aspects of one's life. It does take time and per uh, patience and perseverance, but I can guarantee you your ability to impress uh, and express yourself through music is very gratifying. Thank you guys for listening to my presentation.